Yo. Apparently bits give a ton of points so we can get the dad jokes. Thank you for the bit. Oh, you get 350 channel points for one bit? <laughs> Thank you, Pro Infernate, for that fresh bit. I was going to say, I think those are the first bits I've gotten all month, but actually December 1st, they were 50 bits. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Lasso, redeeming cab tokens or whatever we're going to eventually call these things, to highlight a message. That's also my favorite thing to do. Go into someone's chat and be like, especially right after somebody says, what am I going to use all these points for? And then I can say, I can highlight this message. Yo, X-Dragon with the 10 Pog Champs. Thank you for the 10 Pog Champs. But double shoutouts to Lasso, because he highlighted his message, and I mean, isn't that what it's really all about? Oh my goodness, what is going on? We got a bit train going on here. Oh my goodness. Pro Infernape with the 10 Craygasms, thank you very much. And a very Craygasm to you. Imagine getting a new emote from Channel Points. I don't know. It might not be. Maybe I should make... I, I mean, I'd make it one point to uh, highlight a message, but I mean, the whole point is to stick with the brand, right? Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. It's, it's been a couple of days since I did that, I guess. The monthly cheer. First monthly cheer in 29 days, 350 points. You spend that one bit a month, <laughs> and you get that. Is this where I'm supposed to shield a Twitch and say, like, if you're a sub, you get double the points for sitting there? Honestly, you just leave the window open on this channel, and then you're there, and then boom, you're watching the channel and watch the points just like manifest. One bit a month. That also, isn't that like one bit that, that emote's like good for a day? So really it's like if Author Blues says, I hate puns, you go to Darkwing Duck SDA, and you and you get his uh, pun emote, right? I think that's how Larry works. <laughs> Pie bucks. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Start giving bits to people with one good emote and get it for a day. That's a thing. I'm double checking that I still have more more cheers than than other sources of the, of stuff. Cash out the emotes. Imagine a fire snake getting in your way. Imagine remembering the layout of the stage. Oh my goodness. Imagine fire snakes in 2019, about to be 2020.
Hey. The halo. What is, is that like a reptile thing? I don't know my halo. A jackal. Take a step, take a step. Cool. How am I doing, Lasso? Terribly? I mean, I guess I'm playing Mario 3, so... I appreciate that you are tough, but fair. Yeah. Running around in circle, hatching Pokemon eggs. God damn it, Sword Shield. get this hammer that's below me. I've been jumping too late to, uh... Just, just go. Just go, Mario. Just go. I'm losing all sorts of, like, small chunks of time in World 2. This is why. This is why I gotta have Pokemon after gold. Like I saw what was happening with gold, and with the uh, the breeding, and I was just like, no, 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 we're just done. I played. I played. I think Moon. I want to say I got Moon, and I always say that, and then I look and I see a Sun cart. And it was like, well, nothing has changed. Everything feels the same. I mean, the the gym concept was at least cooler with the the trainer challenge things or whatever they did. But like, the rest of it was like, eh, I'm still playing Pokemon. It's like I'm back on the boat going to high school. Barrier to entry, I mean... I feel like the barrier to entry wasn't that high in the first place, unless you want to get super competitive about it. If you're just playing the game, it's, yep, just just, just use the moves. Follow the, follow the computer's lead. Use ice on rocks. Granted, now, whenever I'm, like, playing a tabletop game and somebody says something is, like, made of Onyx, I say, the Rock Snake Pokemon? Okay, you're talking about competitively. Okay, cool. No, that, that's fair. That's right. I needed two more points rewards. One for um, playing a board game. Especially once like Spirit Island is uh, Steam Steam available. And one for changing hats.
Where was that fireball game? Confirmed odds for egg shrines. See, that... I don't know. It went, That was like freaking senior year of high school, so we're talking literally half my lifetime ago. I decided I did not have time for that anymore. Granted, that was also roughly around the same time as... Actually, no, it wasn't. Wind Waker wasn't for another two years. And then after getting 20 hearts in Wind Waker, I was just, no, we're done. This is not happening again. The last thing I want to do is sail around forever in search of a random piece of a heart. is when you see it coming and there's just nothing you can do about it. Part of me really wants to reset now while it's, there's still time before this becomes another like plus one run. I should... Part of me wants to get a GameCube copy of Twilight Princess specifically to uh, be able to do early Master Sword. Like, even if you caught my wife playing Twilight Princess last week, it was loading up a save literally from 2007 that is specifically right after you actually like are able to play the video game. I really do want to like Twilight Princess, but it's just such... Getting past that opening is just such a pain. Everything after that about the game just feels good, at least. Yeah, the beginning of that game where it's like, Here's your slingshot! Now go find these things! Now go find these things! It's like, yes, you're trying to immerse me in the world. What you're really doing is making me want to do anything but this. I feel like I'm going to lose more time in World 3 here. I really thought I was about to uh, get bopped by something. Sixty-six, but ninety and no Hammer Brothers left. I 
I just want to make sure everybody knows I'm paying attention. Guaranteed queenship in World 5 now that I said that. Um... I don't think I have anything specific. We're having we we're just having friends over who are equally distant from family. And it will be fun. The real question is gonna be how much Sesame Street can a baby cab watch? We've already kind of uh, confirmed over the weekend he's got a uh, very little idea of how presents actually work. He's, he just hasn't been around them enough, plus he's too young. So this will be the... No, no, you, you, you have to learn this. That's why, like, if I keep going down this Zelda path, there, there's going to hit this point. Honestly, it's going to be Wind Waker. And then Twilight Princess, where there's going to be this, like, oh, no, that's interrupted briefly by three hours of Minish Cap. What's up, Conster? Can it be the 55? I kind of knew at some point I needed to just get my step back and make the jump to the cloud. that jump 77 but world 4 also 40 actually. Yep. Be the P-Wing. Ah, What is this? Thank you. 
I would like to submit this stage for the most unorthodox 4-6. It's actually not, but... It was certainly a 4-6. I don't know if Lasso's still here to comment on that one. delayed getting onto the airship here. Learn what's fun. I don't know why I'm still playing Mario 3 when I should be getting um, Mega Man 4 down. Honestly, I should be working on Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 9, but at this point, I'm, I'm committed to this. Honestly, I, I'm committed to trying to find something I can throw at Calathon and see if it sticks. And by committed, I mean I have a few hours a day to do anything with it. Throws Ultra Ball. Sorry, Pro Infernape. You're now Terra Team Rocket's Pokemon. It's It's been fun. I hope you enjoyed being a member of the cab fleet while you could. No, oh, wait. It's not a Master Ball. You can escape that nonsense. Somehow still saving time with all those Hammer Brothers. Honestly, if you want to just like play a bunch of NES games and set times, look for the next Big 20. Because like you, you don't even need to have great times, but you inevitably find one or two games in there that are just like, this is fun, I'm going to keep playing it for another month. Just look at my super dodgeball time. P-Wing is on the bottom. Ninety-two coins. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Just a moment too late. And World 5 got like five seconds longer. I'm probably due for a haircut. One day I'll get that jump down. I 
Stay on the bottom. Six points. Let's make it seven. Even if I had P speed in that room, I don't know what to do with it. I didn't like that jump at all. Stay over there. I'm really glad I bumped it up to seven points on the brick now because I'm really close to 11 coins. I was all set to jump on Boom Boom. <clears throat> oh my god, I almost shorted that jump. World 5 was meh. Have fire, don't need that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, too many hammer brothers. What's up, Malta Bear? <laughs> it's awesome if you know you're getting a switch breath of the wild is awesome odyssey is awesome there are other games that are also awesome keep hearing people talk about this pokemon thing I'm not sure I really have that many worth talking about. I mean, Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, yes. I got the Kirby game. There's like a billion Wii U games that are actually good. And if you haven't played them already, you can get them on Switch. Tropical Freeze is on that list. Come on. I still want the one that faces left. I want I want the bro that faces left. I should learn the despawn. Twenty nine and two. We're good. Tennis was good. Mario Kart eight was uh was a fun experience. I got the Mon Secret of Mana collection. Where is it? Oh my goodness. I mostly got the Secret of Mana collection just to play uh, Trials in English. And now I can actually understand what's going on in that game. Oh no! Whew. Secret of Mana is a... Uh... It's a fun, I don't know, there's a lot of nostalgia behind it, and there's a lot of, like, playing it again, like, wow, this is a lot grindier than we thought. If you have someone else to play it with, it's good. Trials of Mana is a little clunkier, and I feel like that game does a lot more trickery to you as a result of trying to respond to what happened in Secret of Mana. They're definitely, like, beloved games from back way back when. And if you've got free time, yeah, play him.
If you like Zelda games, like, you'll see the similarities. Uh, the, the main problem with it... It's actually a Zelda game... It looks like a Zelda game, but it's actually a Final Fantasy game. In fact, it's actually Final Fantasy 2. As in, 2. With the weapon experience and the magic experience. And then sometimes the bosses will just cheese you and you're just like, what? What just happened? If you're a fan of speed games, though, uh, Secret of Mana has a nice little speedrun glitch. That is fun and easy to use. We didn't get the clip. <laughs> yes, I've beaten these games. More times than I care to count, honestly. This tail's getting ditched. But I do like having the extra hit. playing the Mario games way too long. My only regret is that it's a PRG 1 Mario 3 cart. Alright. Okay, okay. It's like five or six. Uh, I think it's all in the ending. Like, everything about the games is the same, except at the end, if you're playing the PRG 1 cart, it's everything land. If you're playing the PRG 0 cart, the worlds have, like, actual legitimate names. So then that's where this world is actually called the Pipe Maze instead of Pipe Land. Thirty and three. Of course, we are in World Seven, so it doesn't matter. It's just a habit now. Ugh. Okay, okay. Thirty-two and thirty! Castle of Koopa has to be the best uh, original world name instead of Dark Land. Mm. 
All right. I have a star, I guess. That's uh, my eight fortress star. that tail for this, but oh well. Have you seen a worse pipe maze that was like moving in generally the correct direction? Oh, seven, nine. Giga. Points! Kinda wish I had 30 points so I could be fake panicked about coin chips the rest of the game. So you hate it when the runner smiles to himself because he knows what's coming. Oh no.
This poor little tank here, it's just kind of like, yeah, I've got a cannon. Oh. I guess that was a lot laggier than I remember if I don't even kill any of them. You can build a house on that lag. It's a good foundation. Nice. I do like that if you stomp the big cannonball, it makes a little splash. As we all know, if I'm looking at the screen, the first hand will show up, so I can't really look at the screen right now. We're going to have to figure something else out. This is where I plug the SoundCloud, right? So, so buy the book. Just go and buy the book. It'll be fun. We got past the first hand. <clears throat> Second book's a little better than the first book, but it's worth it. My arch foe from last time, that's going to waste me 20 seconds. I should have gotten two more coins. Remember back in World 1 when I said I should reset now because we're going to like miss a PB by two seconds? Well, I have to still finish, you know actually executing on the rest of the game, but... No, oh, just the third one, because I had a good run the other day that uh, got cheaped. Oh my goodness. steps. Thank you. 
Oh. Mr. Cab, 55 coins. That was sufficiently awful. I guess there's a little bit of imagine it without the star, though. When it's actually being taken a little calmly. I do not trust my thumb on the down button at all. Every time I get under that, it's a miracle. Fifty-seven twenty. The world famous patented day one affiliate Oglib Super Tank Strat TM with the vengeance. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing 5720. Lots of bad Hammer Brothers. Well, just, just lots of Hammer Brothers getting my way. Two hands. I, I'm i bad at estimating the, the... I don't know what the time for the rest of the game is. But I mean, I'm, we're, we're going. plan is not to let up on the pace. Granted, Bowser himself is a... Uh, fire kill is not something I've completely learned the fast version of. But I, I have less than a minute here. I usually panic if I have to do that with any amount of speed. I guess we got through here enough. Thanks, Giga. Well, it's something. Remember way back in World 1 when I said I should reset now to get those like few seconds back? Thanks, Polytopes. But I mean, what, what have I been saying, right? The skill is here. Things need to happen. World 5 could have been a lot better. World, uh, there are a few levels in here could have been better. Lost the P-Speed in 4-1. 4-3, uh, though, actually happened. 4-6 happened faster than usual, even if it was awkward. Uh, didn't jump the 3-9-H. 5-4 lost P-Speed halfway through, but didn't die. 5-2 uh, missed a jump. Like, there's all these, like, little things that are going to add up here. And, but the big thing is always the hands and the Hammer Brothers. Like, the, the skill's here.
this breaks a tie for uh, for 60th on the leaderboard, at least. Blue, Blue Hell, I ate your senpai. And just barely Vobard. The next time is uh, 5620. Denikia and the Mexican runner. Deathwing at 5616. Six years ago, Deathwing got a 5616. My goodness. I miss Deathwing. Oh, we were already top 60, Pro Inferni. We were 60th. Because <laughs> Blue Hell had a 56, 53, same as me, and at this point in the leaderboard, you don't do frame counts. You just kind of say, oh well. But now it's for sure. Yeah. Da 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 Um Next PB, fa the famous 55-55. Well, if I got no hands, we'd have a 55-55, maybe. I am debating who to raid on this list here. 